hey guys welcome back to my channel we are doing a one week update of the baby and me so we have officially been a one week with our baby and it has been very hard i had totally forgot what it was like to have a little baby i mean obviously you kind of remember everything you go through but like actually having to do it again it's like so different but he is he went to his doctor's appointment and he weighed five pounds and 10 ounces so when we left the hospital he weighed five pounds and eight ounces so he dropped down four ounces from when he was born 512 that was three days after we went to the hospital i do look at him and i see him a little bit chunkier so i think he has gained a pretty much good amount of weight he eats a lot he's been eating every two hours usually during the day every two three hours and i am only breastfeeding him so he does not get formula i've been doing one or two bottles during the day that way he gets used to drinking a bottle because sometimes we have to go out and do stuff and my other daughters they didn't really want the bottle since i was like exclusively breastfeeding so we had trouble getting them to drink bottles so when we would go out we could only go out for a little bit because they would get fussy with whoever was taking care of them i am trying to get him to at least drink the bottle when he has to so he's been doing pretty good he did he is a little bit confused at first but then he gets it and he starts sucking the bottles we are trying to get him to do that he eats quite often at night at night he is going through his cluster feeding phase so he wakes up and eats from like one in the morning to four in the morning it's like it's like basically he doesn't stop so he eats and then he poops and then he's ready to eat again so i have not been able to sleep at night that's why i look so rough <laughs> if you guys can tell yeah so he's been doing that cluster eating at night last night on the sixth day he actually slept a little bit more so i think he might be hopefully just like it was like a growth spurt so he wanted to eat other three days before <laughs> his belly button has not fallen off yet he still has it so we are gonna see when that happens i think usually it's around the second week that and his little newborn diapers don't fit him yet because he's so small we have to like bend the front down because they're so big and then we have to like tighten them really tight because they are really big on him and then just depending on the brand um like the newborn huggies that we've used um those are still big on him but they're like smaller than the pampers so the pampers are bigger so i have noticed that <laughs> about how i've been doing it's been a little bit tough for me um usually with my daughters i would um give birth to them and feel great after two days um but this time i did not feel great so the first day i gave birth everything was great i kind of felt you know back to myself it was normal obviously your stomach kind of hurts when you have the uterus is going down so it like you feel like really hot bad cramps but um it was fine i was dealing with it um doctors would come in ask me if I wanted pain medicine and I was like no it's okay I'm fine obviously if you just gave birth like you went through like horrible pain the pain you get after it's gonna be like nothing well that's how I felt the first day and then the second day it was kind of like okay it, I still feel kind of fine but then at night at the end of the second day um I started getting really 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 bad cramps again so it kind of felt like I was like having contractions again. So it was kind of bad. So I started taking my pain medicine and it was helping but not like fully. So I have been like that since like the end of the second day all the way to yesterday which was like the sixth day. So it was like four days where it was really painful. I would take my pain medicine but it would still hurt um not like oh my god it hurt a whole bunch since i took the pain medicine but i could still feel the pain and then i was having this like um 
I just felt really weak. Like I couldn't walk. I felt like I was going to pass out. Um, so it was also like four days like that where I just felt like I couldn't do anything. It was just really stressful. Um, that's what I have been going through. And then I did get my milk in. Like I think I got it at the end of the third day. I got my milk in. So the baby um, definitely has milk. Even though he was doing some cluster feeding, he had milk. Um, so I think he's just going to be a really good eater. He is a really, really violent eater. So at first he latches on and he starts sucking really, really hard. So I did get um, sore nipples. I still kind of have them, but he's kind of been learning how to kind of grab on and start sucking slowly. Or maybe just that they have gotten used to it so they are adjusting to the pain I don't know yeah they were hurting a lot the first like the first day they were fine and then the second day they started hurting a whole bunch but yeah so they still hurt right now but it's not like horrible it's only when he latches on and starts sucking like crazy and then he kind of calms down so it's been a little bit rough um with the sleep my husband um, has been off the whole week so he kind of um watches him during the day which honestly i mean um i feed him and go to sleep and he's usually sleeping too when i'm sleeping so he kind of keeps track of him while i sleep and then when he wakes up and it's time to eat he takes him to me so i can feed him so that kind of helps me get in some sleep since at night i cannot sleep at night he eventually goes to sleep around 5 and then he wakes up again at 7. So I sleep those 2 hours during the 1 to 5 hours. So yeah, my sleeping starts around 5. So if I'm lucky, it might start around 4, but usually, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sleeping during the day right now. I think that's all the updates for our first week at home he is sleeping right now which means i should be sleeping but <laughs> and there he is he might wake up to get a feeding so he's still tiny really tiny but he is growing i can tell he's growing his cheeks even look a little bit fuller than when he was um first here that is it um so I am wearing my faja, which is just like lying. Um, this one is one of the bigger ones I have, the stretchy material, because the other one I have, it's like one of those that like snatches you in real good, and it did not fit me when I was trying to put it on yet. So, so yeah, I have this one on that's kind of elasticy, but still kind of holds you in. So. Put this one on once um like the swollenness of my stomach keeps going down i'm gonna put the other one on that way it kind of snatches everything up really good and i'll wear that one ever since i put it on it did kind of help like, like when i would walk the pain that i had like the cramping i had so it did kind of help the cramping when i would walk because when i would walk it would be worse and also um i did put my shirt under the faja because at night, I go through this like situation where I'm super hot and I sweat. Like, like it feels like I'm running a marathon when I wake up. All my clothing is drenched. So, I didn't want it to get like all of the sweat um, and absorb all the sweat because I'm going to be wearing it for a few days. And then I was also going through this. I was feeling really hot and then... All of a sudden I would get really cold and have the shivers so it's been a little rough this time around as you guys can tell maybe I even look rough yes I do feel rough but we are getting through it it's been one week and he is doing good and I'm doing okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in my next a video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like and subscribe and bye